is our color. I know, I know I'm not being very picky. But look at this. Ooh. And there's this sitting right next to it. Oh my goodness. Birdies. Parrots. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love coming here right after they unload a car. These are kind of cool. These are, these are kind of cool. I think we're in a safer aisle right now, Carrie, in the plastics, although there is a, oh, it's missing half of it, but, uh, plastics. Oh, what a cute little, what a cute little cup, a little box. Very cute. Very cute. That's kind of a cool basket. Why am I attracted to baskets lately? No, I don't like Longa burgers, actually. I did, but I, I'm i not really attracted to most baskets, but that's, it's got a nice look, but it's $7.99, I can leave it. I can leave it. What are these? Kahlua shot glasses. Let's see. Anything else here? Nothing else in the plastic. All right. Let's see if we can resist anything in the glasses today. <laughs> Name of the game, resist it, unless it's like super awesome, right? Like that Mary Kay case is pretty cool. It's pretty cool, but I think we can resist it. I think we can. Let's switch. Hmm, I do love the blue. Oh, are they seriously bringing out yet another cart? We came here at just the right time of day. This is the most massive I can't adult today mug I think I have ever seen. It's double sided, left or right hand, so you can uh, you can uh, not adult uh, left or right handed for dollar ninety nine. I, I think I must. I think I must. All right, back to our regularly scheduled shelf. <laughs> Goodness, this is way too fun. Way, way too fun today. <laughs> oh, look at the confetti glasses. They're made by Block Basics. All right, let's take a closer look. No, they're glass. They're, really? they're not as good looking as I thought they were gonna be though. Look at the colors are pretty faded. All right, not as exciting, not as exciting as I thought they could be. All right, we can leave those. No, that's not a darn it. That's a, yay, we can leave them. I know, isn't this terrible? Like, I want to find stuff, but I don't, you know that, like, I want to find stuff, but I don't want to find stuff because I'm moving and I got to pack this all up and then look what I find. Look, look what I find. There's four of them. There's a full set. Okay, be like $10 each and then I can resist. $1.49, of course I can't resist. Those are coming with me. All right. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. Our carts overflow with Gibson. Those are Gibson trying to look like Wachterspach. <laughs> Ooh, look at the um, little uh, Morton salts. Those are those are cute for dollar. No, I don't. I don't need them. What are you, little square, cute little guy? Oh, is this a Morton? No, this is frosty and fun. Big, I mean, it almost looked like it went with the Mortons, but he's not. He's, he's his, he's his own thing. Danny, I need you to do this one. You ready? What? Do it. You okay, Carrie? You make ourselves. <laughs> what? You asked for Chewbacca. I gave you Chewbacca. The best of my abilities to give you Chewbacca. <laughs> we got to work on our Chewy. We just got to work on it. Uh, I don't even know what sound he makes. Wait, what? What? I don't know. <laughs> Cute little rooster set, but it's newer. We can leave that. Yeah, her and her chickens. Oh my goodness. And her birds in general. She loves them. She's a bird whisperer. Like she's magical with the birds. She truly is. She, she can tame down the meanest of bird. We go to the 
like the bird shop and there's like birds that are like not approachable and she's just that they, they love her they love everything loves everybody loves Rachel she's just got that spirit it's amazing I love it love 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 it how about a uh, a big old goose cookie jar I just never got into the goose with the blue ribbons I just couldn't I just I, you know me, I love animals, but the, the goose with the blue ribbon just never, ever, ever appealed to me. Ever. It just didn't. And it still doesn't. <laughs> it sparks no joy. These are nice little art pottery. Little creamers, but I can leave those. Yeah, these were here last time, unfortunately. Big old, big old, big old crack. So we won't get those. Those are interesting. What are what are those for? I do not know. Very cheaply made. Now let's take a peek here. It's kind of dark over here. Are they missing a light? I feel like I'm shopping in the dark. I don't know if that's coming through on the camera, but it's really, really dark. Two 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 fifth. Yes, it is. Can kind of spot them a mile away now. Some of the 222 fifth patterns can sell really, really well. Uh oh. Oh, you think I need that for my new uh, swim up pool yes. bar? My little umbrella picks. Are those? You can still buy these though, right? Know, okay. Just, so I don't need them here. Nice. If they were vintage, I'd get them. Are these? What are these? They're Hallmark. Oh, they're Hallmark. Okay. They're pretty. I do like those. These brand new Hallmark bowls. Hmm. $2.99. I kind of, they're kind of drawing me. The red. You know you like the red. I love red. You have no complaints of me, girl. Somebody else is going to like the red, too. Bathroom stuff. Nothing too exciting. What's a massage ball? Is that for little teeny tiny massages? Yeah, you, just, <laughs> well, you just rub it. Um, you can yeah. just... That looks like a dog toy. Oh, That's what it looks like to me. They've got a lot of them. All different colors. Oh, are these little canvases? <gasps> they are. Came from... Oh wait, are they painted on? What's going on here? That looks like it's already got a bird on it. Under, or maybe that's just the wrapper. Dollar ninety nine for three little canvases. Uh, I will grab those for Rachel. What's a weather journal? It looks like just a journal to me. It's just a journal, not a weather journal. These are nice little uh, bunny feeders. We use these for the guinea pigs. You have to be careful with what you give to the guinea pigs. The ones that have like slats. Uh, a lot of them have the slats too big and the guinea pigs can actually get their heads stuck in them and it is not pretty. These are really, really safe. There's no place for them to get stuck. I, I think I might pick these up. These would, uh, these would work really good in our cages. And I think we're gonna be making the cage even bigger when we move because we'll have more space. Oh, feathers. Dottie already found me a couple of packs of these and I just found another one. They are $9.99, but they are pheasant feathers and there's, look how many are in there. There's a lot of them in there. Are they all? Yep, yeah, they're all 980. Yep, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get those. I suspect that Rachel might try to uh, steal those from me. This is a nice little scale. It's, oh, it's Pampered Chef. Pampered Chef sale, S sale, scale. Blah, 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 blah. I can talk. Um, it goes up to five pounds. This is a great little listing scale because you don't need to know, I mean, exact, you just kind of need to know where you fall, you know, to a certain degree. So we're gonna grab that for $4.99. All right, we are maxing out our carts at this point. Totally maxing out our carts. Is that a stamp set? Looks like a stamp, stampin' up. Stamp, well, no, stamp, yeah, it is a stampin' up, stampy little things in there. So I wonder if the whole thing is, Stampin' Ups, but I can't tell what they are. Oh. <laughs> All right. 
see lots of paint, but we don't need paint right now. What is this? Hanging bag. Triple your closet space. Compress, protect, organize. Oh, so like put all your winter stuff and like suck it up in the space bag kind of a thing Ooh. in your closet. I don't need this. Have you seen my new closet? I don't want to, I'm not like trying to brag or anything. I'm just saying, yeah. I don't even know what I'm going to do, but this is a great idea for anybody who does have to conserve closet space. Oh, oh yeah. Ooh, yeah. Havana. All right. A really, really quick look through like their sporting goods because I'm always on the hunt for things that are carding related for Noah. Not that I would probably ever find one, but what is that? Oh, it's a pop-up drain. But uh, I'm always on the hunt because you never know. One day I just might. Just might. Oh, there's an elephant. Oh, I guess he's complete. He's not a sensi or anything. And then there's a bear. Little night light. Mm. Don't need him. Don't need him. If there's any lamps. Nothing really calling me this time, which is a good thing. So they just brought out yet another cart. I just snagged this off. It looks like a little vintage backgammon game with the corduroy. Oh, I, there might be a... Yeah, I got something else in my hand too. There might be a, a date on the um, instruction book somewhere, maybe. Usually on a front page or a back page. Oh, it looks pretty vintagey. Front page? No. No. History of backgammon. It looks vintagey. I think I'm gonna grab it. I just didn't see how much it is yet. This is a dollar ninety-nine, and it is Steckel, Stet, Stetchkel, Gracie Bone China by Coastline Imports. But look, it's got birdies. And that oh, is three ninety-nine. Look at this cute little piece here. I think it's upside down though. It's very cheaply made. Actually, it's really cheaply made. So uh, I can pass it, but it is cute style. I, I, do, I do like the concept. Oh my goodness, look at this antique piece of furniture. I don't know if you can see behind here. It's, it's all beveled mirror. Oh my gosh, I think, look at this is all carved. And I think it sits on this piece that's over here this is the other part of it yes it is <gasps> it's only sixty dollars oh lord have mercy oh my oh my oh my oh my <gasps> look at the construction how would i get this home this is a piece that came off of it oh my gosh oh my gosh i have to figure out how to get this home I have to figure out how to get this home. If I have to rent a truck tomorrow, I'm going I'm going to figure this out. This is a st oh look. This is a stunning piece of old furniture. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's, a, it's on the side. I mean, it needs a couple little repairs. Oh man, this is gorgeous though. This is gorgeous and that piece that goes on top of it. Oh, I gotta do it. Oh, and then I spotted this little table right here. That is super cute. It's a little wobbly though. It's a little wobbly, but I should look and see if it's got a name under it. Yeah, like perused over to the toys as I'm waiting to find out how I'm going to get that thing home. And uh, Dottie actually found this guy 
for $3.99. Let's see if he's got a tushy tag. He does. He's a... Who are you? Mmm, 19... I think it says 1988 on there. But it, Perfection by MJC is who does him. And then I got this guy. It's a very, very soft little zebra for $2.99. He's a Douglas cuddle toy. And then this guy. Look at this guy. He looks like a little Frenchie. And he's a little Lily jocks. Uh, I don't see how much he is. Oh wait, there's a $2.99. Grabbing him too. And then we found this little Fortnite guy for $1.99. And we will pick him up too. Oh boy, I am uh, I am pretty happy with that find. It sucks that I've got to take it all the way to my old house and then move it again to my new house, but um, it is what it is. These are nice pillows right here. These are nice. Oh, that one looks like the zipper's broken. No, no, zipper's okay. Let's see if you've got a name on you somewhere. All right, stand by. Here you go. Okay, $2.99 each. There's no name on them, but I'll probably pull the pillow part out and just sell the cases. Or I don't know, maybe I'll keep them and put them on my couch. They are kind of cool. I like them. Oh my goodness, there's my cart. And that's like not even all that's in Carrie's cart too. This is crazy. I got a couple more pieces of art down here I have to show you that I grabbed off the cart, but what a trip to Goodwill. I'll show you what I got down here. I got this little original Catherine Chandler with a little black kitty cat. And this one actually has the certificate of authenticity on the back. It's four of 250 for $4.99. So we got that one. And then I got this one with the little puffins. This is Paul P. Otto. It is only uh, an addition of 20 and it's, I believe that's a four, not a nine. So uh, in 1988, and that one is only $3.99. So those were like the last two things off the cart. All right, I'm taking a quick, quick jaunt through the purses because I it's scheduled. I'm doing it. I am doing my first whatnot sale on Monday, the 25th at 3 p.m. Pacific time. And it's going to be purses. So if you want to come follow me, there is a link down in the description of this video for you to come on over. And if you use my link, if you haven't already signed up for whatnot, they're going to give you $10 to spend just for signing up. That's it. $10 free money. So uh, grab that link and come over and uh, watch how the fun is done on whatnot. It's, it's a really, it's an interesting new concept in reselling and I'm, I'm kind of loving it. I've been a buyer over there. This will be my first sale. This looks like a Betsy Johnson, is it? What does that say? Live Better by Betsy Johnson. It is. Oh, $17.99 though. $17.99 for the Betsy. So we'll have to leave that one. Oh, I love that. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, the spiky turtle shell backpack. Hmm, I don't see anything here to add to my sale today. All right. All right, I have to go back and find Carrie. She, uh, she's babysitting my cart because it was too big to <laughs> roll through over to the purses. So yeah, there's Carrie's cart. Yeah, yeah, we were both it's really nice. bad. Okay, that I'm getting the little vanity stool that I'm going to put in my new bathroom. And that one piece of Christmas thing is mine. Oh yeah, the Grinch is mine. Um, but the rest of that, that's that's all Carrie. Oh wait, I got a nativity down there. It's mostly yours, Carrie. It's mostly yours. Own it. Just own it. Just own it, girl. <laughs> all right, I'm heading to check out. I got a couple of uh, what I call my uh, gas money for sunny Las Vegas, who is going to 
save me and come and get that piece of furniture for me with his truck and some friends. So stay tuned for the recap. I'm going to tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth on eBay. That's coming up right now. And God bless you guys. Always ask me which store, which store, which store. I give enough clues to figure it out. Mm -hmm. I give enough clues to figure it out. But I can't give enough information that people who would wish me harm would figure it out. If you know what I mean. Um, it's a very delicate situation. It is a delicate. You got very grinchy thinkers going there. Yes. Well, we did get the Grinch, we and I we hope he works. Grinch. Oh, we're a little loony right now. That was four <laughs> carts full to the car. Four. And like four. Four. Yeah, there was. And a piece of furniture. And a piece of furniture. So I'm a little nervous um, because I have to leave the piece of furniture here until tomorrow. And it's so, it's so old. And people were already messing with it. <sighs> I asked them if they could put it in the back. They're going to try to make room in the back. Um, I do believe that is a an 1800s piece of furniture. It is, um, yeah. It's antique. It's Definitely super antique. antique. And I might just have a spot for it in my new house. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking is I could actually oh. incorporate that beauty into, because oh. I love it. I know. Love it. Which is <sighs> Love it. Um, I spent... Three hundred and sixty-eight dollars, I think, was my total. That included that piece of furniture. That if I did sell it, I could probably get seven or eight hundred dollars just for that piece of furniture. And like, holy moly, holy moly! We packed her up. One shopping trip, not mm -hmm. even a few stores. One store. Merry Christmas! Wow. <laughs> All right, now we get to go home and find a place to put all of this. This is crazy. Oh. I can't believe I just did this. This is crazy. I am not but, looking forward to that. There we go. All right. So, oh, and I got to get to my chiropractor appointment. Good thing, because I, I need it now. She made me dance. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, with that, everyone, you go be profitable. And have some fun make it fun and I got water in my eye oh my gosh I'm sorry that's not fun no that wasn't fun make it fun make it fun <laughs>
So everybody's been asking me for an update on how packing's going. So uh, here's here here's our uh, here's how it's going. <laughs> there really is organization in here. Um, all of the yellow and black tubs are filled with inventory, and Dottie's actually made me all of these amazing labels listed, listed, listed. Um, so we're trying to keep just these tubs for listed inventory. Um, then we're using like regular boxes for stuff that was unlisted, but we had like some sections that were already sorted, ready to go on eBay, all of that. Um, <laughs> these, this is what we still have left to go of the listed. And then once these three shelves are packed up, I mean, yeah, this, this, though, you know what I'm saying. Um, once those three are packed up, then we can take down another shelf. So we've got some shelves, like we've been packing up the shelf and then taking it down. So we've already got some shelves ready to go. And then we're going to get those moved over as quickly as possible. Don't mind this. A lot of this is just some of my mess. Um, we'll get that moved over as quickly as possible so that we can reset these shelves up over on the other end, unpack the listed, never be out of business. Stuff over here are things, mostly things that I had slated to go to the booth and that just need to be priced so I can take them to the booth. So you might recognize some of these things I bought. Still got the saddle here that I still need to take out and measure. Um, and then this is all the unlisted, this is where I pull from to do live sales, and some of it is eBay. These are, oh, there are some packed boxes. I thought that was not packed boxes, but they are. Um, over here is kind of where I have stored a lot of art. So that'll get moved, and then I've got all of these covers. Uh, it looks daunting, but it goes pretty quick. I love the cubbies because I can organize things by kind of what they are. And sorry, it's a little dark over here, but this is going this is going smoothly. I just wish it wasn't so blasted hot out in the garage. But I'll tell you what, <laughs> this is why my electric bill's been so high because we actually have a fan blowing the air conditioning out into the garage and then a second fan trying to blow it over and see I sectioned off this is a three car garage and I sectioned it off with this is a theater curtain super thick and insulates uh, so that when we ran any kind of heat and cooling on this side which is the shipping area we uh we could not have to worry about the entire garage we could just do this area so this we have to ship from on Monday morning and uh, so we're gonna have to get this kind of cleared up for that but these are like my holding shelves here so these will be the last shelves taken down because we still have to ship this week and next week from here and then the following week we'll be shipping from the new house there is the gorgeous piece of furniture that Sunny helped me get home and um, I have talked to uh, George the Antique Nomad about this piece and he agreed with me that it does look English and that it is the age that I think it is. And that, you know, um, not too long ago, this would have been about a $1,500 piece. But now it is about a seven dollars to $800 piece that I have to decide if I want to keep it or if I'm going to sell it. Because um, it's pretty amazing. I wish I could show you better, but it's kind of, we got boxed. These are empty boxes on top of it and all that but it's a pretty amazing piece that you saw me pick up in this part of the shopping trip and I paid uh well I, it was $59.99 but I actually got 20% off of that so what is that that's uh I got this for like 40 bucks 40 dollars for a 1800s piece of English furniture I'm just blown away and it's a sideboard it's called a sideboard well you saw that in the recap already that it's a sideboard Ugh. So much cool stuff. And then this, you guys never saw me buy this. This is actually cognac in a glass dragon bottle. I picked this up from a local dealer uh, here in Vegas and I'm not quite sure 
what to do with it because it, it's it's shipping this would be kind of a nightmare and it's alcohol and all of that so um i have to figure out what i'm doing with this guy <laughs> but i'll do something with him and then if you've been watching my channel for a while you might remember when i bought these at a yard sale because i just fell in love with them and i couldn't bring myself to sell them because i love them and now i'm going to find a place to put these into the new house i'm pretty excited about that because i still really love them so much okay and with that now go be profitable and make it fun we'll see you on the next one